ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and fellow seekers of et ethical clarity in an increasingly digital age. I stand before you today to address a topic that demands our urgent attention and collective conscience, the ethical implications of artificial intelligence. As we delve into the intricacies of this subject, it becomes evident that we are at a pivotal crossroads in the evolution of warfare, where the very essence of humanity's moral compass is put to test. In the annals of history, humanity has witnessed profound shifts in the nature of conflict, from the battlefields of ancient civilizations to the devastating wars of the 20th century. Yet today, we find ourselves on the precipice of an era where, which introduces a new enigmatic player onto the stage, artificial intelligence. It is, in many ways, akin to unleashing digital dragons, powerful entities capable of both doing great good and unimaginable destruction. In the realm of science fiction movies, the portrayal of artificial intelligence and weaponry has long been a source of fascination and contemplation. From the iconic Terminator franchise to thought-provoking games like War Games and iRobot, audiences have been exposed to dystopian visions of a future where autonomous machines wield unimaginable power. These cinematic narratives often served as cautionary tales, warning us of the ethical implications associated with uh, the use of artificial intelligence in weapons. Yet, what once seemed confined to plots and narratives has now become a tangible reality. We, are, we find ourselves on the cusp of a new era in military technology, where AI-driven weapons are no longer mere plot devices, but a tangible tool of war. So we ask ourselves questions. How do we ensure that the AI we deploy on the battlefield adheres to social guidelines? What safeguards can we put in place to prevent unintended consequences and to maintain human control? The moral imperative surrounding AI in weapons stands as a stark reminder of our responsibility as stewards of this advanced technology. As we contemplate the deployment of autonomous weapons in battlefields and the potential to, for AI to make life and death decisions, we are confronted with profound ethical and uncomfortable questions that demand our urgent attention. For example, how do we make sure that, these AI, that the AI we deploy on battlefields adheres to principles like proportionality and discrimination. For example, consider the issue of autonomous drones equipped with AI systems for target identification and engagement. While proponents could argue that such technology can minimize civilian casualties and distinguish between combatants and non-combatants, the moral dilemma arises when we entrust machines with decisions that can lead to lethal force, how do we ensure that these machines adhere to ethical principles, even in the heat of battle? The moral imperative impels us to grapple with the implications of delegating power to take human lives to intelligent machines. Furthermore, the moral dimensions of AI in weapons extend to the very essence of the concept of just war. Can a war really be considered just if the tactics we use involve artificial intelligence and autonomous weapons with a level of precision and efficiency unparalleled in human history? As we unleash these digital dragons, we are also compelled to revisit our understanding of morality in the context of uh, armed conflicts. In an era, where machines and are increasingly entrusted with complex and critical decisions on the battlefield. The necessity of maintaining human control is paramount. The deployment of AI-powered weaponry prompts us to not only wonder the technical capabilities of such machinery, but also our duty and our moral imperative of retaining human judgment and responsibility. Again, consider the case of lethal autonomous weapons capable of identifying and engaging targets without direct human intervention. We must ask ourselves, in the event of an unintended 
a mistaken attack, who is held responsible? Is it the weapon? Is it the nation? Or is it whoever was killed? The absence of direct human intervention is also a key thing that needs to be addressed when it comes to the ethical implications of AI in weaponry. Moreover, the ethical concerns surrounding human control extend beyond individual instances of autonomous decision making. They encompass broader questions about the potential for automation to make life and death decisions that could lead to lethal force. As we navigate the ethical abyss of AI in weaponry, it becomes imperative to establish robust accountability mechanisms that ensure transparency uh, and traceability and accountability in the use of AI-powered weaponry. The issue of human control and accountability ultimately underscore the need for ethical guidelines and international agreements that preserve the principles of scale, discrimination, and necessity, even as we leverage AI to meet today's world and necessities. Now, ladies and gentlemen, imagine the world of AI as a, in a weapons as a vast and uncharted digital sea. In this intricate and often unpredictable domain, the role of international law and governance is crucial, similar to lighthouses guiding ships through treacherous waters. As we navigate the ethical minefields of these questions, and we understand how these legal frameworks and international corporations can serve, can fail to serve as our guiding stars. We must also understand how important it is for us to adjust the, the existing systems to account for the unique capabilities of AI in weaponry. International laws like the Geneva Conventions have long defined the rules of warfare. However, the advent of AI in weapons has, has sent shock waves through these established systems. And we have seen that these traditional methods fail to meet the needs of AI in warfare. This, ladies and gentlemen, is where global cooperation and agreements step in as beacons of hope. Just as ships from different countries respect navigational rules and to prevent collisions at sea, we must collaborate to establish ethical standards for AI in weapons and to ensure that these standards are universally upheld. To illustrate the importance of international governance, consider a world without uh, road signs, traffic lights, and speed limits. Chaos would reign supreme on the roads. In the absence of international agreements and regulations, we, dis we risk descending into a state of global uncertainty and insecurity. It is therefore in our collective interest as stewards of this advanced technology that we work together to establish a framework that promotes responsibility, that safeguards human values, and that prevents unchecked proliferation. Moving on, let me take you to a world where the decisions that shape our lives are made by machines, but these machines carry the biases of their creators much like a mirror reflecting your own biases when you gaze into it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the ethical minefield we step into when we discuss bias and discrimination in AI-powered weaponry. Consider a facial recognition, recognition system used in weapons designed to identify potential threats. If this system carries biases based on race, gender, or other characteristics, it would lead to unfair targeting and discrimination. It's akin to a faulty compass consistently pointing in the wrong directions and leading you astray. So therefore, we see that bias in AI can perpetuate existent, existing prejudices, escalate tensions, and cause harm to innocent civilian lives. And this is why, to address this pressing issue, there's a growing effort for fairness, for transparency, and for accountability in AI systems. It's like we're building guardrails along a treacherous mountain path to prevent accidents and to safeguard human lives. There are initiatives like algorithm audits, which are aimed at scrutinizing AI for bias and discrimination. These audits are like regular safety checks that make sure that the technology we rely on doesn't actually carry hidden flaws. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, imagine the world as a vast chessboard where nations are each given their own pieces. Each piece would represent political capabilities, alliances, 
and geopolitical interests. Now envision the introduction of a new piece of uh, chessboard or a new piece where, which has unimaginable power. It's one that's capable of making unpredictable moves. In this strategic chess match, the use of AI in weaponry introduces the potential for rapid and unexpected developments. Just as a surprise move by a skilled player could change or alter the course of the game, AI in weapons too can alter the course of the war. Now that we've explored the ethical dilemmas and challenges that are posed by AI in weapons, it's essential to recognize how this transformative technology can, be, can indeed be beneficial. First and foremost, AI in weapons has the potential to reduce collateral damage and civilian casualties. Furthermore, AI can also uh, prevent human rights abuses and atrocities. Automated systems can be used to monitor conflict zones, identify potential vi uh, violations, and alert relevant authorities. Picture a world where AI-powered systems act as watchful guardians, deterring human rights violations and promoting accountability for perpetrators. Lastly, AI in weapons can facilitate more effective disaster management response and humanitarian assistance. Autonomous systems equipped with AI capabilities can, uh, can rapidly assess disaster response and make sure that the right help is given at the right time. You stride the future with AI in it does look bright. In closing, as we embark on this journey through the ethical maze to, through the ethical maze of AI in weapons. Let us draw inspiration from the words of Nobel laureate Elie Wiesel. The opposite of love is not hate. The opposite of love is indifference. In the context of our exploration today, indifference to the ethical dimensions of AI is not an option. It is only by actively engaging with these challenges, by deeply caring about the consequences of our actions, that we can hope to navigate this complex terrain responsibly. Our journey has unveiled the complexities and moral quandaries that lie in wait within this digital frontier. But let us not be disheartened, for within each and every one of these challenges lies an opportunity, an opportunity to forge a path of ethical progress by fostering responsible development, transparency, and international cooperation, we can harness the immense potential of AI in weapons for the betterment of mankind. In doing so, we can ensure that the legacy of this technological era is one of safeguarding lives, upholding rights, and advancing the cause of peace. And thereby, ladies and gentlemen, we can guide the digital dragons to protect rather than harm, to save rather than destroy, and to leave an indelible mark on the pages of history. Thank you.